Hi guys, in this tutorial we're going to obtain references to our actors dynamically. That means without um, hard coding them in the editor and we're going to destroy the references or the actors that we obtained. Destroying actors is a common operation that you want to do um, so it's useful to cover. Uh, last time we added these two input actions. One is resets, one resets player um, to its original location and the other just prints debug string. So let's use the, let's extend this print string into obtaining all actors. What we want is all actors of a specific class. So what I'm thinking is because these are editor cubes and if you look at them in the word outliner window, you can see their type, which is static mesh actor. The arena is um, the arena stuff are also made uh, or of type stat static mesh actor. So if I get all actors of that specific class and destroy all of them, we're basically destroying the entire level. But let's try that anyway. Static mesh actor. So get all actors of class is a function that allows us to filter um, the actors by class, which is useful. The return result is an array of references to these actors. And if you drag a an edge or a link, whatever you want to call this line, from out actors result, uh, we can type for each. This gives us a for each loop like in any programming language. You iterate over each item in the container and you perform an operation. Loop body, that's the thing that gets called every time. Um, Ray right element, this is the element that we're iterating over at this point. Um, index, the index of the element in the array. And completed is executed when we are done. What we want is destroy element. Because the array element is actor, we can call destroy actor, and that is pretty much it. Let's try it out. So when I press G, I've destroyed the entire level because all these things are of type static mesh actor. And so we found all the actors and we destroyed them. Now instead of destroying the entire level, let's perform some selected destruction. So these things that we added, these are of different type, right? They have the type platform uh, because we created them from the platform blueprint. So let's select them and destroy them. The only thing we're, the only thing we're changing is um, this filter by class, which is now set to platform. What's wrong with that? Um, now pin connection out actors. This one is not compatible with array of platform object references. They are of type platform. Is it because this thing is... Okay, get rid of that. For each loop. Happy now? Nice. So I assume that because we had different type, the for each loop had a different type of the array that it was um, taking as a uh, as an input. So let's try this one now. G, and we've deleted our two platforms. If I press G again, nothing happens because we have no platforms. Finally, in this tutorial, let's have a look how to obtain a single element of the array so that we don't delete everything, just a single item. So this for each loop function goes, 
let's try and see what we can do. Utilities array. Um, so you can see a bunch of functions that you can call on an array. Find item, clear, add. I'm thinking get is what we need. And I guess that's the index. Yep, given an array and an index. So that's the index at which we're going to obtain the item. Um, we probably should check the length of the array first. Length, um, that's essentially your sort of typical check the value or check the index in, is in bounds kind of thing in a programming language. Uh, but here you you might want to do something like that. So we're getting the length of the array and we want to check if this thing is greater than uh, zero. If it is, that means there is at least one element in the array. Then, so whenever you have an if else kind of if then kind of uh, things, you want a branch, a conditional, so that you can enter this condition. And then that if true, that means we have an array of length greater than zero, then call this, and the target is that. It's getting slightly more complex, but if you go through this, it's not that complex because that's something that you would do anyway. You need to check um, for the size of the array. So if I press G, only one of the platforms should be gone, the small one. And now if I press G, that gets deleted. If I press G again, nothing happens because there are no more items in the array and therefore this branch returns false. Okay, so in this tutorial, we covered how to obtain references to our um, actors using this get all actors of class function. We did some um, array iteration using the for each loop, and we also looked at how we might obtain an item at a specific index from the array. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.